This is uranium ore, a heavy silvery metal buried deep within the earth. At first glance, it may seem like an ordinary metal, but in truth, it holds extraordinary power. In recent decades, nuclear power plants have emerged as one of the most efficient sources of energy. This technology plays a critical role in delivering massive amounts of electricity without carbon emissions. To generate electricity, nuclear power plants require a special type of fuel, enriched uranium-235, or U-235. Among the world's uranium-producing countries, Kazakhstan ranks at the top, contributing over 40% of global uranium supply. But here's the twist. Despite its vast reserves, Kazakhstan does not enrich its own uranium. Instead, it partners with Russia for that crucial process. So why does uranium need to be enriched? Enrichment is a vital stage in the nuclear industry. Naturally mined uranium contains around 99% uranium-238 and just 0.7% uranium-235. U-238 is non-fissile. It cannot sustain a chain reaction. U-235, on the other hand, is fissile, capable of triggering powerful chain reactions. Because U-235 is so rare, it must be enriched to increase its concentration. After mining, the uranium ore is crushed into smaller pieces, a step that increases surface area and facilitates extraction. It then goes through purification, where uranium is separated from impurities like heavy metals, soil, and rock residue. The purified uranium is precipitated back into solid form, a yellowish-green powder known as yellow cake. This powder is then chemically converted into gas, uranium hexafluoride. But why turn it into gas? Because U-235 is slightly lighter than U-238. Enrichment takes advantage of this small difference in atomic weight, not chemical properties. The gaseous uranium is fed into centrifuge machines, spinning at extreme speeds. This creates a centrifugal force that separates the isotopes. The heavier U-238 moves outward, while the lighter U-235 stays near the center. Gas enriched in U-235 is then passed to the next centrifuge. This process is repeated thousands of times in a complex cascade until the desired level of U-235 is achieved. The enriched gas is then converted back into solid form by adding calcium, forming black crystals known as uranium dioxide. This black powder is processed through extrusion where it is compressed into tiny ceramic pellets and heated to 1400 degrees Celsius. Each pellet is inspected individually for appearance, size, and density. They are then loaded into cylindrical metal tubes, typically made of zirconium, a metal resistant to heat and transparent to neutrons. These tubes are assembled into fuel rods. This is enriched uranium-235, a material with the ability to split atoms used as the heart of nuclear power plants or nuclear weapons. To safely harness this energy, the fuel rods are placed inside a nuclear reactor core designed with advanced safety systems to withstand extreme pressure, heat, and radiation. Inside the reactor, the fuel rods are fully submerged in demineralized water. But water here isn't just for cooling. It serves three vital functions. First, it absorbs the heat from fission. Second, it slows down neutrons keeping the chain reaction stable. Third, it shields radiation from escaping. In other words, water not only cools the core, it protects and controls it. When the reactor is activated, neutrons are released into the fuel core, creating a constant low hum. 
these neutrons collide with U-235 atoms, causing them to split and unleash massive heat through a sustained chain reaction. That heat boils water within a closed system, generating high-pressure steam that drives turbines. As the steam strikes the turbine blades, the turbines spin at high speed. They are connected directly to electric generators, and as they turn, mechanical energy is converted into electrical power. But behind this sophisticated technology lies a critical challenge, controlling the temperature of the reactor core. The fission reaction generates tremendous heat, and without proper cooling, the core's temperature can rise beyond safe limits. If that happens, the results can be catastrophic. Radiation leaks become a serious threat to the environment and human life. History has taught us this lesson. Chernobyl in 1986, Fukushima in 2011, Two haunting reminders of how a cooling system failure can lead to disaster. These events reshaped the world's perception of nuclear safety and underscored the need for strict oversight. That is why every modern reactor is equipped with multiple layers of protection. Automated, monitored, relentless. Because in nuclear energy, even the smallest mistake can have enormous consequences. This is the challenge of nuclear power, not just to generate energy, but to keep it under control.